Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, <clears throat> and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to cast um, stones and rocks for your terrain of your diorama. Um, these are the basic items that you need. You need your mark molds, your hydrocal, water, a spray bottle with water in it, and maybe uh, some supporting things like the spoon and some, some wood. I'll show you what this is for. Um, first off, I would like to say, I wanted to say that this, this isn't just plain water. Um, I have a couple of drops of uh, liquid soap in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray that in the mold, and that will help the rock to release, and it will also help to keep the bubbles down to a minimum. The worst thing about making a, uh, something like this would be having a lot of bubbles in it. It won't, won't look natural. So, and these supporting sticks here, just a little something extra you might want to think about, particularly if you have a big mold. But we're going to use this mold just to try to keep some of the, the balance on that, so that way it doesn't collapse on us while we let it dry. So, the first thing we want to do is mix our hydrocal. And what you want to do here is when you're doing this is you want to stir it gently until it's a nice consistency. Try not to stir it too much because when you're making a rock mold, the most important thing to look out for is un unwanted bubbles because yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll look unnatural. You're, um, you know, you don't want bubbles in your rocks. So, but we'll avoid that. Try to stir that up good. This is almost ready. I'm going to go a little faster. I would recommend you go slower than I do. I'm going to go fast just to keep the size of this video down. But this is just about ready. And that's hydrocal casting plaster. You don't have to use this. You can use it on plaster of Paris. Now we spray this. Put a nice coating of wet water. That's called wet water because it had, now it has like a surface tension because of the um, liquid soap that you've put in there. And that's two drops per six ounces of water. And we're just about ready. this a little bit. That will help to run out any bubbles to the top. If bubbles come to the surface, we're okay. We don't mind that because that's going to be covered. It's the bottom surface that we're really worried about. So you can tap that a little bit. It'll actually help run the bubbles up. Okay, so that's just about done there. So now we'll set that, so now we'll just leave that alone and let it dry. And that should take, depending on the size of your mold, if you're using a larger mold, take anywhere from a half an hour to an hour. I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. It's been an hour since I cast this plaster. And, now, and I, also you can see that I did this, it wasn't in the earlier video. I just threw some of the extra plaster into a bigger mold. It didn't fill it up, but that's okay. Um, we're still going to get some great rock terrain out of that. So now all you have to do is carefully um, remove these, and I'll break this up here, and remove these from the mold. I'll flex the mold a little bit, start to loosen it up, get it separate from the, get the plaster to separate from the mold. And you can see that came right out there. Now we have a beautiful rock. Look at that. Looks great. And um, simple as that. Put that there. Oops. Separated nicely. 
See that? Some really great rock terrain there. That's going to be terrific once we paint that. And this one, if you can see this one, this one cracked in half, and that's okay because now I, I can use that one separately, or if I wanted to, I could glue it to this one. We could glue it back together if we wanted to. So and that's it. So make sure you clean out your mold real well before you use it next time. And you um, can use some little tools to tear it to break off some of the excess on here. But that's great. So in the next, that's the tutorial on how to cast plaster rocks. And um, these things are going to look terrific. In the next tutorial, I'll show you some nice techniques for um, painting these molds so they look really rock-like. You know, they have rock-like shape right now, but they don't look rock-like until we get some color in there. So that's the next tutorial. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, thanks again. It's www.stormcastle.com. Thank you.